What's up, Tony from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com and in this quick video I'm going to talk about the 24 hour El Cheapo paint job. Uh, something that I break down step by step within the VIP training section of the website and I'll be happy to share this with you guys uh, today. Uh, what I mean by the 24 hour paint job is these are paint jobs that you put on cars quick. Okay, usually from 12 to 24 hours the whole thing is done, completely done. Uh, you're ready to pull it out of your garage or spray booth or whatever and drive it home. Okay, and uh, with doing this 24 hour paint job, you usually, well, most of the time, this is the reason why it's a 24 hour paint job, uh, is because you're banging out the job. You know, you're doing a quick paint job on it that's gonna look good uh, to sell it, to keep it uh, for a friend, uh, for a cheap job that you're doing, you know, 1500 bucks and under. And uh, you're using single stage paints, okay? This is why you could speed up the painting process, cutting it in half by doing only two to three coats of paint, uh, rather than two to three coats of base and two to three coats of clear. You know, it's double the time in the booth if you're doing a base coat clear coat paint job. Okay, so let's quickly run down the checklist. If I miss something, I'm, I'm sorry, I apologize, but I just wrote this out quickly, and uh, we're gonna do the time frame stuff uh, live, no script, right on the spot, right here. I didn't even think about it, but we're just going to go through it as we uh, go through the checklist. So, uh, the first thing you're going to need for the 24 hour paint job is your enamel paint kit. Okay, you're going to need some type of enamel. You could do a synthetic enamel or an acrylic enamel, which is a little bit harder. You're going to put it harder in your mixture, uh, it'll be a harder, longer lasting uh, your, uh, single stage paint. Um, which is only going to cost you about 50 bucks more, give or take, okay? So if you're doing a synthetic, I would say a synthetic or acrylic paint enamel kit, one gallon kit, enough to paint uh, a large car or truck, uh, will run you about roughly on the high side, okay? Average is about 100 bucks for the kit, high side up to 150, okay? And that's cheap, that's pretty, pretty damn good. Uh, getting a complete setup of enamel paint, okay? You're gonna need some sandpaper. Bondo, which is body filler, okay? Bondo is body filler. Let me get the black marker here so you can see a little better. Uh, sandpaper, Bondo, body filler, if you're gonna be doing some minor dents, okay? If you got no dents, if you don't care about the dents, you're just gonna paint right over, you know, light dents or whatever. Uh, it doesn't matter, okay? You're not gonna need any of this, but if, you, if you're saying, hey, let me just fill a couple of dents quick, uh, go ahead and mix up some Bondo, make sure your areas are sanded, your dented areas are sanded. Fill, 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 go around the whole car. Take you about 15, 20 minutes. Uh, let that dry 15, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and then hit it. Go, go all around the car, take you another 30 minutes to flatten out all those areas. Prime them quick uh, with, uh, I, I would do a 2K primer, not a lacquer primer, just to fill in your scratches. Uh, you can go ahead and water sand it or DA over with like a 280 or something like that. Uh, but what I recommend is uh, at least painting over a 280 grit or a 240 grit with enamel. Enamel is thick and uh, you don't have to go down to 400 grit uh, like base coat clear coat to paint over, okay? So sandpaper, I would say 280. If you want to go finer, uh, 320 would be great uh, to paint over, all right? So you can get the DA, put some 320 grits on it uh, before you do your 280. If you have uh, peeling areas, you know, clear peeling off, fading on the top of the roofs or the hoods. Just make sure you DA and you sand them all out, smoothing everything out, feathering it all out. Uh, and then I would put a light coat of primer on top of that and then maybe hit it with a quick water sand, uh, 320 or even with a DA with 320. Uh, make sure it's dry, tack it all off, wax and grease, tack it all off and you're ready for spraying. Okay, I'm just running through this quick, uh, but we go more and more detail, we show you the whole thing live on video exactly how to do a 24 hour paint job if you're interested in that uh, with the VIP course at LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com is the VIP section. Alright, uh, you need some masking paper and tape. Uh, I really recommend getting some using some good quality tape. I like American tape. Uh, it's the brand, it's American brand tape. Flexible, if you leave it in the sun for a few hours or a day and you peel the tape off, you're not going to have the glue stick to all your moldings and your glass and all that stuff. If you use the cheaper paints, cheaper tapes, that's what's going to happen. You're going to get all the glue stuck on it, you're going to have a hard time taking it off and you're going to get lacquer thinner. It's just a pain in the butt. So if you can, if you have a couple of bucks budget, two, three dollars for a roll of tape, 
get some tape. You know, it's only gonna take like 10 bucks in tape for you to tape the whole car up. All right, uh, masking paper and uh, tape. Uh, garbage bags. You might be thinking, what the hell does he need garbage bags for? Garbage bags, big black 50 gallon garbage bags. Uh, you open the bag up. I show you this on the video within the training course. So this is just, you know, uh, just a de demo, okay? So just bear with me here. You just cut the bag in half, right? You open it up and you put it over your wheels, okay? These are wheel covers, cheap wheel covers. And then you just tape it so it doesn't flap all over the place while you're uh, spraying. And that's that. You need four garbage bags for your wheel covers, okay? Garbage bags, wheel covers. Wax and grease remover uh, to wipe down and clean your car before you're ready to paint. Of course, you're gonna need some tack cloths, rags, and paper towels for all of that, right? Paper towels to, to wipe down your wax and grease remover. Um, and your tack cloth at the very end before you start painting. Just could go over the whole thing with a tack cloth because you want it as clean as possible. And uh, you're not gonna be tacking in between coats because uh, this stuff gets sticky and you don't do that. With base coat, you tack between coats uh, but not on the clear coat stage. So let's just stick with the enamels. And then of course, uh, I forgot to add in your primer and your glaze putty if you're doing uh, the, uh, the Bondo part, okay? If you're doing the Bondo part, you're gonna need the primer and the glaze putty, you know, if you wanna make it look a little better. Okay, so let's run down uh, through the, the time frame of getting these things done. So usually, okay, let's say we're working on a four-door Honda, let's just say, let's just make it a two-door Honda Accord. You kind of know the size of this car, right? So if you really get down and dirty, you bust out the DA early in the morning, say you start at like six o'clock or seven o'clock a.m., you know, you woke up extra early, you ate some breakfast, you're ready to roll. Uh, it should take you to go around the whole car, I would say three to four hours to sand it down, okay? Sanding three to four hours, okay, getting it all sanded. I'm talking about going through it good, hitting your hood, fenders, maybe even less, okay? But just because I think that you're a beginner watching this, three to four hours, plenty of time, uh, you should really be able to knock it out in about two and a half to three hours, just going through it quick. All right, I've done 12 hour paint jobs, not even 12 hours, but about 12 hour paint jobs. Start in the morning, by the end of the night, you're ready to blast, okay? And the next day, you're done. Okay, sanding, uh, if you're doing a little bit of body work, uh, primer, bondo, all that other stuff, I would tack on another two, two hours or so, okay? Filling light dents and all that. Uh, then you're gonna you know, wash the car down, blow it off or whatever you wanna do. Uh, I really recommend washing it. So it's good if it's a sunny, nice sunny day, you wash the car out, you know, make sure it's all clean, take all that dust off. Let it sit in the sun for about an hour. So, clean, wash, one hour. Okay, after it's sitting in the sun, you bring it back into the shop or your garage. Uh, you wanna go over the whole car with an air chuck with your air compressor, blowing out all the seams. Okay, you're gonna see some dust fly out, you're gonna see a little bit of water coming out because it's the worst thing when you're painting and a drip of beetle water comes out of your a seam or something then you're like, oh crap, you're screwed because you can't really do nothing about it. You know, you gotta get a rag and a little towel and like dab it out and then just go over it and just try to bury it with your paint. Okay, clean, wash, mask. Masking can take some time, especially if you wanna do a good job masking. Uh, I would just put two hours on it. Two hours, you take your time, you do a great job masking, okay? Uh, after masking, uh, you're gonna clean again clean with wax and grease. Sorry for my messed up look, uh, but we're just put on 30 minutes. 30 minutes for that. And then, uh, and then tacking, another 15 minutes. So let's just say cleaning, wax, grease remover, all of that, getting it ready for paint. Um, also mixing your paint in the booth. Let's just say all that takes one hour. Let's just say 1.5 hours. Okay, we're gonna add this all up in a little bit. Okay, uh, so what do we have over here? We got, let's just say four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten and a half hours of uh, working. Okay, working. Now you can split this up into two days, or if you feel like you can do it, 
paint it that night, okay? It's gonna take about, I would say, one hour to paint your car, give or take, one hour to paint your car. So you're looking at four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 and a half, 12 hours roughly to do a complete paint job on a car. And this is like real broken down, this is real doable. It's not made up numbers, this is what I do. And you could actually do them faster uh, if you really want to. So if you have the energy, if you think you could do it, take the extra hour, spray it at night, next morning, take the tape off, you're done. Uh, if you want to break it up into a 24 hour paint job, uh, like, like they do, <clears throat> some of my members do, you do all this one day, right? Next morning, you paint your car. Then you're gonna have to let it sit for about five, six hours till it's dry to the touch, uh, right? Dry to the touch. Then you can just let it sit on the side uh, for a couple more. For the rest of the day, I wouldn't go you know, crazy driving it around in the rain and all that. Uh, but that's basically it. You could do it, paint it, have it done and paint it in one day by the end of the night if you start early. Or get all the body work done, have it all ready to roll. All you have to do the next morning is go in and tack it and shoot it which is gonna take you about two, two and a half hours. Uh, then you're gonna let it sit for the rest of the day. You know, I keep it in the garage or in the booth, whatever you're doing. And, uh, and that's it, 24 hour paint job. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you liked it. So again, it's Tony from LearnAllAboutAndPaint.com. If you're on YouTube right now, click and comment below. I'd love to hear back from you. Uh, click the description, the link in the description if you're on YouTube. It'll go over to the blog. Uh, at learnautobodyandpaint.com where you can get an 85 page auto body and paint manual that will tell you more about all this stuff, give you great information and also check out our VIP section. We have thousands of members that have joined us worldwide learning about auto body and paint in step by step detail, things like this all on video. We also cover pearl painting, body kit installation, customization, Lamborghini doors, uh, painting with candies, flakes and pearls. Uh, body panel replacement, everything, uh, all in video, step by step, with complete full support. It was amazing, nothing like it. Uh, if you're on the blog right now, comment below. I would love to hear back from you. And uh, thanks for watching. It's Tony from LearnAutobodyandPaint.com. Ciao.